he wanted it to be a tourist spot and just never really reached that dream. Well, I mean, he did inspire other towns to do the same thing. Yes. That's pretty much what started other people having like <laughs> the largest, I don't know, cucumber. I don't know what else is out there. I have been to the largest rocking chair before. Oh, wow. I've never done any of that stuff. I've never been to any of those like weird kitschy things, I don't think. Miss Terry loves the Corn Palace in South Dakota. If we can make a map, <laughs> I will show you that. Like, I just saw this on TikTok. The places my black ass won't be going if I have to choose. And Is South Dakota, one of those places. Some Dakotas, <laughs> definitely on the list. Wisconsin, sorry for you. I already made the mistake by going to Utah. Oklahoma. I'm not going. Probably not. Oregon, sorry. Well, maybe because of Portland. Oregon? And Ben, we have to go to the last blockbuster. Oregon is very, it's like very white, Jackie. And I'm not saying this because I don't like white people. And I shouldn't have to explain this. But if I'm in an environment where I don't see any others, and I don't just mean black, I'm a little, I'm scared. I have every right to be. I, and it's... it's Fair. very white like up there it's very well, white my my experience in Oregon is very limited we went to Crater Lake <laughs> and we went to Auntie Dyes in Beaver Creek <laughs> Beaver Marsh it was a creek or a marsh but we do need to go to the to Bend so yes. I will retract my statement about Oregon we will go to Oregon I also would like to not have to go to Mississippi, Alabama, a lot of those southern states. I even side-eye Louisiana as much as I like New Orleans. I could go on for days. As long as Iowa is still on your list. Oh, no, absolutely not. I, I thought I covered that one with that blanket. <laughs> what the fuck's in Iowa? The future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. They have a per, like a celebration, a week long celebration every year. That's why the, you know how like there's a thing that both Ken and I will do to support you, <laughs> and then there'll be things that just I will do to support you. <laughs> this is the thing that just Ken is gonna go with you to support you. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, I thought but maybe it, but if it's breaking and doing a B and E in the Lisa Frank factory, is that in Iowa? No, that's in Arizona. Oh, well then, yeah, of course, that's fine. Um, Arizona, I've already been, so yeah. But uh, Iowa shit. <laughs> mm. The only other thing that I think would get me to go is those world fairs that they have, mm -hmm. or just the state fairs that have like the crazy food. Maybe Dallas has one every year. Right. But I'm just saying, like, the okay. Midwest definitely has their foothold on that shit, too. Yeah. That's the only other thing. Food is the only other thing that would make me <laughs> <laughs> And maybe if we were doing a No More Late Feast tour and we needed to, to do a stop. <laughs> if, if Hold on. We, let, me, let me look, take a look-see at our anchor overview. It's definitely not fucking Iowa, Jackie. And I'm not hating on my Iowa love fans. Love y'all. Big cities only, my friend. <laughs> and I think we talked about this. When Jackie and I were driving from Florida to Texas, I was like, we need to look at places that we're allowed to not allowed, but like are safe to stop because there are still sundown towns in this country to this day. And oh, I highly researched that so I knew exactly where we could stop. And we were very thoughtful in planning, like even our gas stops, to make sure we were in safe locations. Not only being two women, right? It also, Danielle being a person of color in states that still do have sundown towns. And then just knowing we would have to stop and rest somewhere. And so we wanted to be thoughtful about where we did that. It was, it, it was a lot of planning, which if I drive by myself, I do that similar planning. But when I drive with Ken, like very fortunate and privileged that I don't have to think about that as much. Yeah, it's, it's legit. So if we ever did a tour, big cities only, sorry. 
I got to live. I don't trust it. Even big cities, I mean, obviously you're always going to have things no matter what, but I got to take those precautions. We ain't doing no Iowa, no more late fees. They can drive down to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we do have plays in all 50 states, but I will say the Dakota is very bottom of the list. Mm. So we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Idaho is pretty far down there. Utah. Yeah. Yeah. West Virginia. Yeah. A oh, fuck? That's another one. <laughs> I ain't going to no fucking West Virginia. I don't want to go to West Virginia. <laughs> yeah. No no hate to our fans who are from West Virginia. But that's, y'all got some I'm stuff. assuming if they're fans of us and living in West Virginia, they know us up. Yeah. They're not pretending. <laughs> no. But if, look at, read the top states. So, top the states are... I'm sorry, whichever states, sorry. States, Texas, California, Florida, New York, and then Washington State. Right, right. Pretty much where our family and friends live. <laughs> right. <laughs> so if we do a tour, that's where we're going. <laughs> New Jersey. I mean, Kevin Smith does now own a movie theater there. So maybe one day pipe dream. Yeah, we will be hearing a bunch of New Jersey. You'll be hearing a lot of New Jersey slander when Andrew comes on the show because we have a New York, New Jersey beef going on. <laughs> but yeah, 